Once the flight dynamics team has given the go-ahead, the Rosetta spacecraft will manoeuvre itself so that its fillet lander is on the right trajectory for the landing site. Rosetta will release fillet when approximately 22 kilometres from the centre of the comet. A signal confirming the separation will arrive at ground stations on Earth 28 minutes and 20 seconds later. The landed descent will take seven hours. On the way down, Philae will take a series of images, including a farewell shot of the orbiter. Some of its onboard instruments will sample the dust, gas and plasma close to the comet's surface and measure any magnetic field. The Sesame experiment, which contains three instruments, includes one called Casse, located in the lander's feet. Casse detects the touchdown, the moment when the lander hits the surface, and also it has active emitters that emit acoustic waves in one foot and they go through the surface and can be detected in another foot and we can derive the mechanical properties of the soil of the cometary nucleus this way. The three lander legs will absorb the momentum and use it to drive an ice screw in each foot into the surface. At the same time, two harpoons will fire to lock the probe onto the surface and a small thruster on top will counteract the impulse. Once anchored to the nucleus, Philae will begin its primary science mission based on its initial battery lifetime of 64 hours. The lander also has solar panels and hopefully they can recharge the batteries and extend Philae's lifetime. Above the lander, after separation, Rosetta will move away from the comet and reorientate itself to communicate with the lander. If all goes well, communications will be underway around two hours after separation. The first images from the descent are also expected within several hours of this point. The timing and precision of the landing manoeuvres are crucial. But once safely on the comet, Philae will undertake its in situ experiments. Its first operation will be to take a panorama of its surroundings, and within hours we will see the first ever view of a comet from its surface.